Senator Francis. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honourable Senators, I rise today to pay tribute to our dear colleague and friend, Senator Jose Foray Nising. As others have noted, Jose was a proud Franco-Ontarian who, who was devoted to protecting the rights of Francophone minority communities. From her questions to the government representative to her motion on the closing of French university programs, Jose was passionate in her advocacy. During her time here, Jose was committed to improving the lives and futures of Indigenous people. I had the pleasure of traveling with her as part of Canada's delegation to the United Nations Permanent Forum on Indigenous Issues in 2019. Last year, we sat as members of the Standing Senate Committee on Aboriginal Peoples during our study of Bill C-15, the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples Act. She took so much pride in this work. Colleagues, I want to tell you about a special moment I shared with Jose. In October 2018, I had the privilege of being sworn in with her on the same day. That day, I brought with me an eagle feather, which, was the First Nation, which for First Nations is one of the most honored and sacred gifts. Jose knew of the significance. As we were preparing to enter the chamber, as the last two to get sworn in, I could see that she was nervous. Something I later learned was not common for her. I offered a prayer to the Creator in her name and touched her with my eagle feather. I believe she found this gesture to be powerful and reassuring. When she entered the upper chamber, she was calm and filled with strength and determination. Colleagues, we lost a dear member and friend far too soon. However, Canada is a better place because of her presence and influence. Jose's warmth, generosity and humour will never be forgotten. She will live on in the hearts of all those she touched. I offer my sincere condolences to her husband Robert, her children Philippe and Veronique, and her extended family and friends. Well, Alan, merci. Thank you, Jose, for your friendship, and may the Creator continue to embrace you and hold you tight.